It is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how The Last of Us series uses Autodesk Maya to produce animations for its most recent update, The Last of Us Part 1 Remake for PC, and what workflows were incorporated from the previous installments. In this video, we'll discuss how these award-winning animations were made with Maya Autodesk using Motion Capture, Motion Builder, Exported to Maya for implementation, how live-action reference footage is used to inspire original acting choices, and the keyframe animation process. We'll look at some of the new tools developed for the remake that carried over from part two and how some of the workflows differed from the original release 10 years ago. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning of how Last of Us was created internally. Pitch material to Sony executives to help greenlight The Last of Us was animated and created in June of 2010. Working closely with the game and creative directors, video served as a pre-visualization to portray the combat atmosphere and tone of the game through gameplay representation addressing design and narrative cinematic needs. The main objective was to figure out how to make a visceral and realistic gaming experience in a cramped environment like a convenience store. They wanted a mix of IGC in-game cinematics and gameplay with seamless transitions and contextual moments. Focus on a tighter gameplay camera to player, focal length and positions to test pros cons of restricting player views. They also wanted to prove how sound design and silence can add tone and intensity to the game design. In 2011, Naughty Dog and VASG, an external Sony satellite studio, created the announcement trailer in 2011. This would serve as a standalone cinematic to tease the characters in the game with early models of Joel and Ellie, which would eventually change over time. The concept again was to reinforce the style of game, mood, and tension that the game would later become famous for worldwide. Motion capture was shot and cleaned up with Autodesk Maya, and hand-keyed elements were added to create impact and more believability to the performances. The workflow to achieve this cinematic was to capture the actors on mocap stages, send the footage to Motion Builder for solving to transfer the motion to 3D assets. That raw motion data would then be transferred to a character rig in Autodesk Maya, where animations would then be polished and higher fidelity details would be added for the final rendered trailer sequence. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create The Last of Us's animation. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. <laughs> Naughty Dog uses a very similar motion capture workflow to that of Sony Santa Monica's God of War series. Motion capture is stitched and compiled with Motion Builder, or otherwise known as Mobu, Motion Builder is much more user-friendly when it comes to dealing with motion capture versus Autodesk Maya. However, for keyframe and animation polish, Motion Builder is far from an ideal software. So tools were created to import the Motion Builder data to the Maya version of the assets where all the motion can then be cleaned up and finalized by animators for the final versions of the game. Every gesture and voiceover is recorded live on stage, and the performance is reflected in the game to the same extent as it is performed by the actors. This ensures that the performance is accurate and natural as possible. Every time a performance is split up, it can lose the natural actor movement, such as a unique gesture or line delivery. Naughty Dog's official statement on Twitter states the company wants the PC version to debut in the best shape possible, which fans would likely appreciate as well. For the remake, scenes were reanimated from scratch using the original shots as a base and reference to preserve the narrative. The first Last of Us did not capture any facial data for motion capture. It was all hand keyed based on the actor's live stage performance camera recordings. Since there was no facial motion capture data, the remake would have to be hand animated while referencing original scenes to maintain the core essence of the character acting performance from the original keyframe facial animations created from animators who worked on the original production assets. Utilizing facial libraries and poses helped the characters to stay on model throughout the production's actor's performance. Motion matching was implemented for the remake to create seamless transitions in the animations. 
This utilizes logic to match the desired movements to a library of hundreds of animations. A mocap actor has gone in and ran through a gauntlet of movements to get a full set of ways a human can move, and in every frame the logic is trying to find the best matching animation that fits the path of where the character is heading. This motion model gives the player a sense of seamless movement. Crowd locomotion and hometown sequences were recreated. Motion matching setup and tuning animation for loops and variations along with systematic performances like stumbles, explosion reactions, sync deaths with infected to give more realism to the remake. Joel had additional clambers, vaults, climbs, balance, falls, and landings for added realism. Technical and animation polish for the system including weapon grip variations and variation for widths, heights, Character state, approach angle, and approach distances were necessary to implement the new transitions. For the Jerry Hospital scene, non-lethal hit reactions were added along with one of the default deaths were redone for the remake for hyper-realistic movements. Facial rigs were joint based with blend shape correctives. Much like Santa Monica's workflow, faces were based off of facts which gives a more defined muscle anatomical based approach to faces. Pupil dilation and high density meshes were created to add high fidelity to the performances. High fidelity and dynamic hand shapes allowed for more flexibility in poses. For part two and the remake, joint counts were nearly tripled for increased fidelity to convey human emotions more accurately. To give you an idea of the increase in fidelity, the facial joint counts on part two and the remake were more than the total joint count on the original PS3 character's body joint count. Real-time muscle systems allowed for shells to bulge based on attachment points. This was further enhanced with cloth wrinkles to add even more realism to the character movements. These strong foundations were taken further for part 2 and the remake for part 1 where extreme high fidelity was necessary for next-gen hardware assets. Cameras are also motion capture controlled where the cinematographer can see the action as well as the stage direction to ensure the shot is feeling as natural and dynamic as possible. Different lenses can be utilized just as you would with a live action camera to ensure the most cinematic experience as possible. Small mistakes like reframing the character on close up or the cameraman bumping into a wall sometimes are kept to keep the camera animation raw and give it life as it were a character itself. Much like animating characters after the motion capture is applied to the 3D scenes, cameras are also tweaked and adjusted to give optimal framing of the core characters in the scene. For part 2, horses were programmed and motion captured on a custom motion model with full body IK parameters with ragdoll setup for characters on horses. Move performances involving dogs on leashes were programmed to follow their patrol master's movements. New multi jumps were created with motion matching with a new traversal system. This also carried over to the infected's vaulting abilities. New abilities such as infected crawling on the ground when legs are shot off were also created. A custom physics rig was created for secondary animation of the extra bodies and limbs on Rat King's back. These technological advances all contributed to the remake's workflow to create a whole new experience for the player. The game is a full overhaul of the original game from 2013 on PS3, but Sony and Naughty Dog decided to bring out their classic again, including tons of improvements and changes. Tons of animations have been redone to create more impact, make stealth smoother, AI behavior has been overhauled, making enemies more aggressive and NPCs more realistic. The remake was completely rebuilt. While the remaster version only improved the graphics, frame rate, resolution the original game had, The Last of Us Part 1 was built from the ground up for PS5 and PC. This means you can expect real-time rendering, new character models, and better graphics across the board. With new hype around the franchise's TV series, the demand for a third installment is hotter than ever. Will we see more from Ellie and Joel in the near future? We'll have to wait and see. Well, that about wraps up this video on how The Last of Us through the years utilizes Autodesk Maya and why it's an important integral piece to the AAA animation game creation process. There's been no real change to this workflow for the past several decades, and its use is still prominent today. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the franchise over time, how it has evolved and how these AAA masterpieces are created. The newest remake of this timeless classic looks better than ever on PC. Will you be playing on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. No, wait. And, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.